Hello everyone, this is Billy Topotate. It's a pleasure and an honor to be with you today. Today we're going to talk about inner peace. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what teachers do to integrate that inner peace. We would all love to have that inner peace. And there are some wonderful components to that inner peace that we can have. If I can just speak for a moment about the Creator and all of our wonderful teachers in spirit, all the wonderful beings who assist us in good and loving ways, and how they interact with us, how they see us. They see all of us in that inner light and pure state and interact with us in that way. And for us to have that inner peace, we need to really think about how we can connect with the world that way. Not just in human connections, but also connection between humans and animals, humans and plants and water. All these things serve us in such a wonderful, empowering way by providing us an opportunity to experience unconditional love. So it is important for me, first of all, to just kind of talk a little bit about how we can peel away at some of the things that might be limiting us from our inner peace. First thing is to always connect with that higher aspect of who you are. And sometimes we can lose that when we're under stress. I have a wonderful technique that I use uh, to bring myself back into that spirit. And sometimes when people are around us and they're experiencing stress or they're doing something that might not be very enlightened, we can get involved in that by judging. And the best thing to do is to supply the energy of uh, the universal life force to help all situations to become a better um, situation, maybe not at that moment, but the next time. So I like to know or have the technique where I stop for a moment when I realize I've lost my center. The second thing I'll do is observe by going above the situation and looking down and saying, isn't that interesting? how I'm reacting to it, how they are interacting with it. And then, after that, I send a healing energy. But before I do that, I activate something that I lost. When I'm under stress, I'm going to lose that center spirit that I always want to have. So I always place my hand in a hand mudra and say, I activate the most highest aspect of who I am. When I do that, my words will bring me back into that spirit. Then I will look down at that situation and I will supply wonderful empowering energy and see the best of everything and also see what could be done that is better. After that, I release it. That promotes a great sense of contribution in a good way, which is what we all want. The other thing that promotes inner peace is self-care. Taking a nice salt bath when you get home um, is so very vital to clean your energy field, not because we are discouraged about what we um, experience, but to give us an opportunity to refresh our bodies, our mind, and our spirit by doing some self-care. The second and the third thing that is really important is to always use words as medicine. Use words as medicine for yourself and surround yourself with people who can inspire you to be the best that you can be. Not just in a physical form, but in a spiritual aspect as well. As a wisdom seeker, it's important for us to always search, um, you know, through meditation, through mantra, through friends through associations with animals and plants, our highest aspect of who we are. Taking a walk in nature and also contributing to the good health of nature to give back always where we receive is going to promote that great inner peace. There's a wonderful meditation that we have here called the Loving Kindness Meditation. We do it every Friday. It's free and open to the public. What I think is so important about the meditation is it activates the heart chakra. And that's a really important aspect to activate the heart chakra. The crown chakra will not open up enough until the heart center is open. 
And that's the universe's way of really guiding us to activate our heart with wisdom so that our crown chakra will open up to have more insights about ourselves. So meditation is very, very important, but walking in meditation is really very important too. And by that I mean um, to know that your, your words and your thoughts and your images um, are all under your dominion. And when we start teaching every aspect of who we are, more peaceful and more empowering and wise ways of util utilizing our words, our thoughts, our images, it promotes a tremendous amount of inner peace in us. So the, all of those things are very, very important. Contributing in some way to our beautiful world um, in a good way is going to promote a lot of wonderful inner peace. Just know that you are a constant conduit of energy. And our goal as sentient beings is to be able to conduit that energy, to conduct that energy in a mindful, wise, empowering way so that it can transform things into this world in a good and loving way for all concerned. So I wanted to share some of those wonderful things with you and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Um, I did want to mention that I do have an upcoming class coming up called Whisperings of Spirit. That class is on, I believe, April the 30th, Sunday, from 10 a.m. to 12. Again, that's called Whisperings of Spirit. It's April the 30th, Sunday, from 10 a.m. to 12. And it's a wonderful way of getting connected to your wonderful divine helpers, uh, your wonderful teachers in spirit, and really getting connected to all of the beautiful things that your higher self and your higher thoughts can provide for you. So I'm looking forward to seeing you in that class. And I want you to have an absolutely wonderful and magical day. I look forward to seeing you again. Take care. Bye-bye. Welcome, everyone. This is Billy Topotate. And I'll be guiding you through a meditation called Inner Peace. Inner Peace meditation promotes a great sense of well-being. So please take time to sanction at least 10 to 15 minutes now. And of course, please do not do this meditation while operating any vehicles or any other activities. Meditation is about really sanctioning time in the quietness of your own home or sacred space or office. So please get yourself nice and comfortable. I'd like you to relax in a comfortable position and place a beautiful reverent smile on your face. This sends a message to your body that you're going to be doing something very special. I'd like you just to observe your breath not trying to change your breath in any way, shape, or form. When you observe your breath, see if your breath is shallow, or observe if your breath is like the ocean, relaxed and rhythmic, ebb and flow, in and out. And now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to think about something that has changed your life in such a wonderful way. 
And it could be that you were walking and saw the sun and the birds, and this refreshed you. Maybe you were with a beautiful companion animal and provided you with unconditional love. And also, possibly a friend sharing their wonderful time and laughter with you. See this time in your mind's eye and send gratitude, sending gratitude from your heart to that wonderful time and space. When we do this, we are in that time and space, experiencing that energy once more, and this time, adding more wonderful medicine to that time and space for everyone involved. And now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to focus on a wonderful memory of being with your teacher or someone absolutely wonderful who you really care about who has spent wonderful precious time with you and feel that wonderful energy and know that when we bring this into our mind's eye that we are actually there once more experiencing that moment in every cell of our being, expressing gratitude and peace and harmony, and sending out to that whole memory, that time and space, wonderful thoughts of gratitude, and receiving that gratitude into our mind's eye, ourselves, and sending it back out to all the people involved. This teacher might be a loved one, or just a teacher that you have had before that has shared wisdom with you. Could be a child, a companion animal, a bird, all things can be great teachers for us. It can also be your wonderful personal guides, your virtuous angels, all the wonderful beings who guide you in good ways. As you see this in your mind's eye, send gratitude, ask them to continue to be in your life. Coming back to your breath, see where your breath is now. Is your breath like the oneness that we experience with inner peace? I'd like you to go into your heart with your consciousness and focus on visualizing the ocean. See the ocean so balanced, so rhythmic. As you breathe in, let the belly rise like the ocean. As you exhale, let the belly fall, ebb and flow, in and out, become one with the water. And see in your mind's eye 
that nature is an extension of the Creator. And therefore, you are in the center heart of the Creator. You are the spark of spirit walking the earth. As you go into this place of awareness, experience that inner peace even more. See that beautiful energy going into every cell, every muscle, every bone, every part of who you are. Let it become brighter. Using your sacred breath, becoming the water even more. It is sunrise and sunset. As you look out in the horizon, if you did not have a point of reference, you wouldn't know the difference because the Creator has given you an opportunity to be in a place where there is no time, only beauty and the quality of divine love. The sunrise and sunset is when the native people would honor all that has been given to us and in, in this meditation, we will do the same. See yourself in that place where you are looking at the sunrise. And I will do a short song to honor the sunrise ceremony. Allowing for the sunrise ceremony to begin a sacred intention for the day. As I sing this song, I ask you to create a sacred intention in your heart for today, for whatever you need. Ohutogashina. A beautiful day begins in our heart we sing the song, the song of our own personal journey. The journey is wonderful. For you have made this Mother Earth, and now we walk upon it, awakening ourselves and becoming one.
as we finished our sacred intention, our sacred intention for this beautiful inner peace that we so want. We want very much to send it out to the world. Not so much for us just to keep, but for others to have as well. And so we go into the next stage of our inner peace meditation to give it to our inner child, to give this inner peace to the animal kingdom, the plant kingdom, the water kingdom, the crystal kingdom, the human kingdom, and the entire world. And I would like very much for you now to go into that beautiful place and focus on sending this wonderful light medicine, this shining bright light medicine out to the world. Be in that place, that place of inner peace, love, light, this divine peace 
and to want very much to create this divine peace and to maintain this divine peace in every cell of their being. Taking one more breath, breathing in through your nose, and exhale, exhale through your mouth, just release and relax. Very gently opening your eyes. And I thank you so very much for being with me today. A pleasure and an honor to be with you. Have an absolutely wonderful, magical day today. Many blessings to all of you. Namaste.